Hey there YouTube, just wanted to make another video about uh, virtualization and uh, this one will be about creating a virtual machine using QEMU. I will not be using Vert Manager or LibVert, any of that, just pure old QEMU. So now that I lost everybody, let's get started. First we'll need to create our initialization script and I usually keep it in the same uh, folder I have my uh, hard drive images, in this case, uh, Windows 10 ISO 2. So, torch, and we'll call it vm.sh. Let's make it executable. mod plus x, vm.sh. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So, in the future when uh, the scripts are more complicated this might be useful so let's do it in bash specifying your terminal emulator and let's get uh, started on creating the actual uh, system so let's specify a 64-bit x86 machine uh, qemu system x86 underscore 64 enable AVM uh, the amount of memory we'll be using in this case let's use 16 gigs uh, it doesn't matter how much you use 4 should be enough for Windows 10 8 is better whatever you can spare leave some for your host uh, let's specify the type of CPU we'll be using. So in this case, uh, host, we are not, we will not be emulating any other CPU, like a Core 2 Duo or something. We'll just be using the underlying CPU. And KVM equals off. If you have an NVIDIA card, you want to hide the hypervisor, and that's what you will achieve doing this. This will... Uh, ensure that you won't get that 43 error uh, when you pass through your graphics card when you get there so next let's specify the chipset we'll be using q35 core 2 duo chipset works uh, really well with uh, with pass through and all that stuff I like using it how many cores are we allocating allocating to this virtual machine Let's do two cores, two, two threads each. And these slashes you see here, do not leave a space after them, uh, won't work. So make sure, slash, no space. Okay, BIOS, what kind of BIOS are you using? If you don't specify it, it will default to C BIOS and uh, it will work, but you might want to use uh, uh, emulated UEFI BIOS, so let's specify that. The location on Fedora 29 is uh, U user share EDK2 OVMF slash OVMF underscore code dot FD. Again, slash, no space afterwards. Another thing that might be useful, uh, you might want the time on the host and the virtual machine to be matching. So RTC base equals local time. What else? We have to boot from something. So we'll be using uh, the emulated CD-ROM drive uh, we'll be using that uh, image file we have here we'll to boot from that cd-rom and the file name is windows10.iso next uh, where do we want to install it we need to create a virtual hard drive so let's do that command for that is 
qemu dash img create uh, the type of image will be qcow it's a qcow container qcow2 and the name is uh, let's make it dm1.img and let's make it 35 gigabytes in size okay we created this image we'll be using as our virtual hard drive vm1.img hda vm1.img okay lastly especially if you don't pass through a usb mouse you are just using the emulated mouse uh, the position on the in the virtual machine might not exactly match the position on your screen that's why you might want to do this usb device usb tablet it will make your life much easier at least until you pass through a, an actual usb mouse lastly not necessary but you can specify boot d we are booting from the CDRM drive okay and now let's start this virtual machine vm1 or was it vm.sh okay we are booting into that uh, virtual that image file and it's our windows next we'll install it to our virtual hard drive which should be 35 gigs in size and uh, let's skip this specifies pro version accept the license okay here is our hard drive 35 gigs and uh, yeah we are not using master boot record uvfi install bios underneath so next and once this is finished you have a usable windows installation in the next video i'll be probably going over the usb devices adding adding those and eventually we will get to gpu pass through for this virtual machine so see you in the next video